On sat. Squall! It's not safe here. It's too late for me, but not for you. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Shifter, or in the red, she sees me from our camp, bore me here to Baal's enclave. She, she slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. She told me. Let's see what she this is. Flying strike. When a Githyanki cast fly, their next melee weapon attack deals additional one to four psychic damage. Uh, Githborn Flying Boots, level 3 transformation spell. Bestow the ability to fly upon yourself 10 turns, long rest. Okay, I guess that's nearly nice. Uh, Rover Storehouse, the rats are dead, we to speak to Chief Rover. Uh, with the Githyanki Hunting Party Dispatch, we can explore the hideout for the perhaps even claiming some useful items okay that's nice oh. gate master zerlak we'll take that hulen mausoleum key slashing sandals oh these are nice actually i'll keep them something over there where Where? Candle? Hello? That might be worth a look. Okay. Sword of the Emperor. So we'll check that. For sure. But let me check here. My own town. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful. We'll take that, of course. That's curious. Yeah, 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 we'll take that. Unique shell. The keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. That's curious. Disguises. We are what we appear to be, and so appearances matter. Frightened immunity, uh, illicit protection. If the wearer is infected by a mind flare tadpole, they gain plus one to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma throwing shaving throws. I mean, we'll send it to camp. Cerebral citabel glows, illicit euphoria. Charm or frighten a creature to gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Man, Emperor doesn't. Mm, maybe I need more pockets. My cutlery set. A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but the memory stirs something in me still. Huh. Sure. There she is, in all her glory. Jubelin Stelme. My own. Something over there. The chains I used to find my means. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. Mm, I don't believe you, but sure, whatever. An old container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me.
for pedans, uh, fetal heads too. Dark color. Rascal's color. My poor four-legged friend. Their lives are so brief, so simple, and yet full. Books. Ooh, cloud cake. Okay, let's check this one out then. Sword of the Emperor. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours if you want it. Sift Sifter Slayer. This weapon deals an additional 1d4 damage against Sift Sifters who poly or polymorph creatures. Magic durability. The wielder has a plus two bonus to saving throws. Eh. Yeah. Ah, I like this one. What I have, adamantine longsword. Dang. Actually, this is just plus pile of sacks. Let's go and check this one. Ah, so this one also comes back into the lower city, huh? What's this? Stack of food. On sat. It's not safe here. It's too late for me, but not for you. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. The shapeshifter, or in the red, she sees me from our camp, bore me here to Baal's enclave. Slit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. Doesn't seem like something Dezel would say, right? You'd underestimate Orin the Red. The last mistake you'll ever make. Hey! Exactly. Look at it, crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? <gasps> hush, hush. Orin will take care of you and your little pet. Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <laughs> <gasps> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. Does he kidnap Lizelle, huh? Kethrick's killer turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. A desiccated husk, all dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. (laughs) 
Let's see what if I do number three, she says. No, no, not here, not now. Okay. The tyrant must fall first. Two. Whoa. You heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh. How I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Cortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. Slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me. And you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the nether stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Okay. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Uh Yeah, let's let's for now let's let's go along with what she says. We can so she doesn't kill Lazal. Of slaughter, of pain and humiliation and the sound of blood drip dropping into the gutter. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> That is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Okay. Greening with Baal. On signing inflation and countermeasures. So Lazel got kidnapped, huh? Scroll of Detect Hearts. Let's take that. Ouch. Let's check this. Ooh, let's send this to camp. Uh, there is a wooden crate here. Yeah, I don't think. We can't just let Orin take one of our own. Even if it's Lazel, <laughs> we have to rescue her or kill Gortash in order to win her freedom. You almost pity Orin taking Lazel like that. Give her half a chance and she'll rip out the shapeshifter's spine. <laughs> Lazel was a formidable addition to our party. Our odds without her are diminished. 
We should consider Orin's terms carefully. However, distasteful we may find them. Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. Let's go back. Very well. Let's talk to him. You kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. Yeah. Do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Nice. Orange die. Huh. Is he really not gonna go and do? Chef Revere has been. St okay, I guess that's all, right? There is nothing much else here. It seems like, right? Okay. So there is something here. Let's go and check that out. This one, right? What's it? Laugh Riot now open. Phoebe's Brogan. Harvard Willy Bow. Waldo Walnut. Belford Willy Bow. And this is Sire Prisna. Didn't we have like investigate the murder and other thing? Let's talk to huh? Snappy dresser that Willoughby. Though he should lose the monocle. Huh. Look away. Act like you don't know me. Come on. Be a pal. Waldo Walnut? I am hopeful that we shall be thoroughly entertained. I hear this fellow is monstrously droll. Uh huh. Balfour Willabo. Welcome to the Elf Song Traveler Tavern. No, wait. That's backwards. Anyway, my dad tells the jokes here. Sometimes they're funny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, a comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You wanna play along? I'll bite. It's all about the boffo yoks. We see you can tell the funniest stories, and the winner gets the prize. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Okay. Hello, Bulldarians. You know, I wouldn't be here tonight, except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. I got fiend zone. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have a drow comedian. I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her how many drow it takes to light a torch, and she said, None. We have dark vision. <laughs> so I killed her. The elf song patrons think that one's funny. There may be hope for you yet. Your turn, smart stuff. Knock them dead. But not literally. Got me? Say, what's the difference between dwarf and a uh, bullet? You can't toss the bullet. <laughs> hey, I asked how guys to get shattered. He said, shatter? I hardly know her. What's this? Mm, let's go with number two. Adequate, but no better. You know why I hate to Reptile dysfunctional. I ask a zombie reanimator out on a date, but she said she was <laughs> a necromancer. 
Let's do this. I first heard that one when I was in short pants on the school playground. <laughs> How does he say I have. <laughs> Uh, let's do this one. Ah, uh, don't joke about religion, smart stuff. A single person applauds from the back of the room. Probably out of pity. <laughs> Sorry, smart stuff. No joy for you, I'm afraid. But that sounds like job security for me. Another triumph. Yes. All right, fine. Falling around... Well, well, look what the bugbear dragged in. Can't believe we both made it to the city and with our limbs attached. Yep. Yet here you are. We did, didn't we? <laughs> Never thought I'd begrudge being alive. Ugh. Alas, I've got nothing in my pockets but lint and disappointment. Why? How about a kiss Back then? In the grove, I'd have taken you up on that. But my situation has changed somewhat. How about? So how about this? Alan puts swill in the bottles, but I know where he keeps the good stuff. Here. You saw nothing. You heard nothing. I need to get back to work before Alan throws a fit. But stick around. You brighten the place up. What did she give me? Uh, just some camp supplies, huh? I guess. So if she's here, does that mean that ears Ohana? Let's talk to her. That puffed up parvenu, Gortash, an archduke. Mm. However, did they find a crown big enough for his head? Yeah, let's go up. Uh, where? How do I go up? Uh, there must be ah uh, here. Okay. Hold up, citizen. This is a crime scene. No admittance. Tavella's finished her report. You can let them pass. Who? Tavella. Place to receive clients and informants. I wonder if it's as I remember it. Huh. Let's go and open this one first. Ooh, who's this? Oh, bollocks! I told those idiots not to let anyone through. You, name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake. The last one better be bloody good. <laughs> Valeria. To fetch her another bottle of mead, no doubt. <laughs> yes, I'm Devella, the unfortunate colleague. Unless you've got useful information, leave me to my work. Duke Stalmain's dead. And I've got to find who killed her. Was it an aspiring Bal contest by any chance? There is more at stake than Stillman's murder now. That Bal himself in... Okay. Bal? That's exactly what I... Wait. How do you know about that? God. That's it. Mm. Proof that I was right. <laughs> I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. Mm. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder, Baal. 
He ruled the Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations and cast into the Chiumthar. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. Uh, you said Sarawak led cultist a century ago. He can't be still alive, can he? Stranger things have come back to haunt this city. Who? Hey. The brutality of the killings is on a par with Saravok's own. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts, the depth, the execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. I tried to explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. But you... You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. Yeah, what about the other victims? There are patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm both bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Sure. Thank you. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate. To have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Okay. Let me see. So we got to disable the steel watch. <coughs> okay, down by the docks. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Investigate the murder. Gauntlet Davela is convinced the target list we found is linked to a wider Balis plot. He asks us to follow the people noted on the list, save them if possible, and get more information about the Balis cult. Okay, that, that's fine. We get to that. Hey, you know why it isn't wrong to fart in a storm short tabernacle? <laughs> Note on Stalemans murder. I was thinking yeah, I could do some kind of thing you like. No need. You like this kind I picked of thing. up some extra shifts. Right hand missing. Have to do that. Huh. A bloody yeah. signet ring. Bloody ring. Guess the killer didn't want jewelry. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or action, they gain mental fatigue for two turns. Yeah, I'm suspecting... I'm suspecting the... What's this bad? Lots of blood. Some pink stains too. Cabinet. Let's see. Nothing. Uh, 